Well, his distinguished career includes 35 years as Manhattan District Attorney, countless convictions and cases that made huge headlines. But another big part of former DA Robert Morgenthau's life is his family and the May-December romance with his wife of 36 years. That love story is the subject of a new book written by his wife, Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist Lucinda Franks. It's called Timeless Love Morgenthau and me. And Robert Morgenthau and his wife join us live this morning. Thank you both so much for being here. Thank you. No, thank you for asking us. <laughs> Ms. Franks, let me start with you. This book is incredibly personal, sort of no holds barred, and it gives us a side of your husband that most of the public has never seen. Why was it important for you to write this story? Well, I think my husband is one of the great men of our time. And he is known as a stern, tough prosecutor. I wanted him to have a, a whole image. I wanted people to know his foibles, his strengths, his goofiness, his singing, everything he does at home that make him a real person. Mm -hmm. And M Mr. Morgenthau, what was your reaction when you read the book, when you heard she was going to write the book? You guys are about 30 years apart, a lot of differences, right. but you guys are very much the same. You're compatible, you wrote about in the book. What was your reaction to it? I thought it was a great book. She's a great writer. <laughs> and how, how long, you, you were telling me earlier, it took you a while to put this together. Yes, there was a lot of research, and Bob, at my insistence, read every single chapter, um, commented on every single comma and semicolon, mm -hmm. and when we disagreed on something, I was lucky enough to keep journals right. since I was in college. So I took the journal and said, look at this, Bob, and he said, I guess you're right. And the reverse happened also. What do you think people would find most surprising about your relationship? Uh, I think the discovery that my husband, like many men, was, he was always emotionally distant, mm -hmm. but kind and tender. Uh, but we discovered late in his life that he suffered from a form of post traumatic stress syndrome. Mm -hmm. And this was from the war, from a number of traumas, his wife's long, painful death, mm -hmm. a number of traumas that came one after another that made him the way he is. Because before the war, right. he was a prankster, uh, you know, uh, a, a funny and light happy-go-lucky man. You talk about this in the book, but let me ask you, it's been a few years, do you miss being district attorney? No. No? I never, when I left that office, I said, I'm not going to look back. And I'm, you know, I'm working on the immigration cases. I'm now a, a member of the board of this new organization, Immigrant Justice Corps. Mm -hmm. So I've got a full plate. And I, I never look back. You never look back. Do you believe him? You talk about this in the book. Do you believe him that he doesn't miss it? Oh, yes. <laughs> in fact, we have arguments in which he doesn't even remember them. I mean, we never, if we have a disagreement, it never goes more than 10 minutes before we're back into normal. Mm -hmm. And I think he doesn't look back except when it's necessary. Mm -hmm. And you're 95 right now? Is that how old you are? 95? I'm sorry? How old are you right now? 95? As best that I can count. <laughs> as best that you can count. How are you feeling? What? How are you feeling? Great. You feel great? I'm lucky. You're lucky. And you guys will be celebrating 36 years yes. in November. Yes. And we're probably going to go to uh, a foreign land like we did last year. Mm -hmm. uh, he travels fine, and we always find something that renews our marriage mm -hmm. uh, in a way that is uh, unique, really. Mm -hmm. And it's part of the, the book really tells people how to do that mm -hmm. and how to stick by people no matter what.